have to taste uh, that comes with 3,321. Yeah, but the fuckle broke down. So, yeah, literally the sort of a torch bread. And normally you do it on the grill. I do it today in the oven. And it seems to be some some wrap with a stick in it. I just, I think I just opened it here. <laughs> Opening him. Alright, here we go. Taking one out. Yeah, so this smells very much door like. And uh, yeah, there was stick here. And yeah, and the flavor is cheddar, cheddar mozzarella. So I guess I just put it in the oven. And I say preheated oven and think this time I really do it. Yep. Alright, so here we are. It's preheated. And I'm just dropping them into this. Okay. And yeah. Alright, so time is up. Uh, yeah, Ooh. check it out. Yeah, it's sort of messed up um, this uh, oven here. Uh, I know. I think it was my mistake. I should have put something there. Anyway, get them out. Ah. And as you can see, they got kind of uh, brown or something. Okay, and let's check them out in the studio. Okay, so here we are, and it smells definitely like barbecue, although I did it in the oven. <laughs> anyway, and I guess I want to cut it. I'm not quite sure whether you, you sort of get the stick out if you're done. It's the back side, but it contains only the uh, ingredients lists and nutrition table. Uh, I think I go for the stick first. Okay. I'm not quite sure what it's good for. Ah, maybe you eat it from the stick. Hmm. Anyways, I cut first. It smells a lot like this here at the door. Here we go, I always cut stuff. And yeah. Hmm. I think rather unspectacular. Ah, since it's a barbecue, it's maybe handy to eat it from the stick like a shashlik. Okay, so I guess I do it the way it's meant to be. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. So this was of course smoky because, yeah, it was burned away. Now that I have a proper bite here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think the door is definitely dominating. Um, kind of dry. The seasoning is a little bit um, hot, I think. Mm. Reminds me a little bit of pizza. Um, I don't know. It's the first time I'm eating a product like this ever in my life, actually. The fucker bread. <laughs> well, this the stick is maybe for turning it on the barbecue. All right, so it's definitely sort of a a rough meal here. Tough guys meal, I don't know. Mm. I think uh, if you had a nice sausage and stuff, this is maybe just a great side dish. But then the name, I don't know. It's almost like bread. Yeah, there also this, it reminds me of barbecue baguettes. Uh, a more fancy barbecue baguette, so to speak. And yeah, as I said, it's a wrap, you can unwrap it. Um, I think I'm reading wrong. Yeah. So I want more sauce. I don't know. 
here. <laughs> yeah, have you seen this concept as a... Yeah, what is the concept? It's basically a wrap for the barbecue. The, and they call it in Germany the um, torch bread. Okay. So this was a little review. I hope you learned something. Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you in upcoming episodes. So, jetzt gibt es hier Fackelbrot. Es gibt in Weise keine Übersetzung ins Englische. Also mein Wörterbuch, das ich benutze, kennt jetzt nicht das Wort. Und ja. An die Rückseite könnt ihr euch durchlesen, wenn ihr das wollt. Also die Geschmacksrichtung ist Cheddar, Mozzarella und so weiter. Ich würde sagen, das ist eine tolle ähm, Beilage fürs Grillen. Wenn man viel, auch viel Wurst und ein Steak isst und so weiter. Ähm, sehr brotlastig, äh, beziehungsweise diese Fladenbrot jetzt hier. Und die, ist, die Füllung ähm, geht etwas unter, würde ich sagen. Auch trocken. Wofür ja ähm, spielt dann gute Spaß ist nicht. Weil das so zu halten ist einfacher. Ja, gut. Schmeckt sehr rustikal, muss man so sagen. Und ja, keine Ahnung, ist jetzt mein Mittagessen. Ja, wie gesagt, normalerweise ist das Grill-Equipment, ich habe es jetzt im Ofen gemacht. Grill anzuschmeißen ist mir jetzt aufwendig hier, um Rebels zu drehen. Ja, ähm, ja, esst ihr Fackelbrot. Ähm, mit all die bisschen Machtrichtung. Ganz schön scharf ist das auch. Pfeffrig. Okay. Ja, das hast du gesehen, ja. Und bis zum nächsten Mal.